um hello my darlings <laughs> okay i'm not used to doing two videos in one day but this was an, an idea i got of uh, something that i kind of want to answer before anyone starts to ask up again um and that is the question uh, why won't you ever go on to certain talent shows like America's Got Talent or X Factor or or even The Voice or you know anything like that or American Idol I don't know if I said that already or not but um I don't get that question much now but before I started at this page, when I would sing for all of my, um, friends, uh, people in classes, I constantly got told, Oh, you should go on The Voice, you would win that, or, Oh, you should go on America's Got Talent, you would crush it, or, you know, so on and so forth. And I wanted to up until recently. And I don't mean to say that. I'm sounding like a probably a little bitch, but I have so many reasons, actually, as to why. First off, I'm not good enough for any of those type of shows. Like, you know, there's just something like Okay, I don't know how to say it, but one, um, there's something called pretty privilege, and that uh, is like where people can get, like, adored, loved, famous even because of their, of their looks. It's one of the reasons why I don't have a face reveal on here. Uh, just yet, I want to, but not now. <laughs> um. And two. Um, I don't think they would really take me seriously as the way I look and, you know, how I act. I don't think they would take me seriously as, as someone who wants to become a hard rock or a heavy metal singer. I, I kind of am leaning more towards metal, but I don't think I have the ability to go full blown metal. Um, and... Point two, there. My voice is kind. I don't. I'm not trained in singing. I've been singing all my life, but I've never fully been good at it. I just, I just kind of wing it, and I don't really listen back to my covers. I mean, I have been recently the covers I, I wanted to hear like my uh. uh <laughs> my shout ex woman like me covers. Um, shouting for all of the insecurities that I have, and one of the roots that I have figured out of my insecurities, kind of like a fuck you to that, and women like me being for my darling and my love, uh, prejudice. Uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone ever reads the description, but I put it there. Um, I really like that cover, but. You know, most of my covers are not really good, and I, I have gotten a little better, but only because I've used kind of like this breathy and quiet voice that I have instead of belting, because <laughs> when I belt, I sound awful. I'm not kidding. Except for um, my perinal, 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 I still don't know how to say that. A cover uh, by Ginger. I belted it a lot there and I liked how it turned out except for the screams. I I can't figure out the false folds at all. I want to scream like her but I can't. So I, I had to inhale kind of in a weird way. Um, and plus I had to re-record it after a certain amount of times of screaming and growling it just starts to fade and you know 
knowing the judges like Simon Cowell there and Sharon Osbourne, those people are hard ass. And, you know, they won't take you seriously if you don't sound good to them. Or if you don't have a heartbreaking story to tell, they won't take you seriously and you won't, you won't win. <laughs> More or less. And the second reason being because of the fact that some of those shows don't let you sing your own songs. And I don't mean just like original songs, like songs that you pick. Like, they will choose one for you, what makes you, what they think fits you best. Like, um, if I wanted to sing, oh, I don't, I don't know, Sex Metal Barbie by In This Moment, uh, they would probably go, no, you're singing Hallelujah, and that's that. And as much as I love that song, that song is damn well overused and um and I don't I don't want to do that because I like rock and I like metal and I want to be able to choose my own uh songs to sing I mean I do take requests I love taking requests even though I am kind of difficult with fulfilling them because it takes me a long long time but when it comes to, like, wanting to do my own songs, I want to do them. Or if I want to sing a song that I wrote, I want to do it. I don't want to do a song that they chose and, like, maybe a song that I don't even know the words to. And, yeah. And then, and then some. Like, not being able to pick my own songs or... Uh, not knowing if I'll sound good, not getting enough practice in. It's just, what the hell? I don't want that. And then here comes the third reason, which I feel like could be the final one. This is going to take a while for me to explain. It's all a setup. It's all a setup. Um, there, There is, like, one show that I can confirm is real but I'm not gonna guarantee with uh, the rest of the shows on there um like for example uh the story of Zoe Alexander aka the pink impersonator who threw a tantrum on stage but it wasn't a tantrum it was a mental mental breakdown and um you know if you don't know what happened this is what I understand from her and she is an amazing singer by the way she is phenomenal I love her voice she went she applied to go on to the show from the producer she like emailed them told them you know her story that she used to be a pink impersonator and like what she wanted to sing and he, she gave them five songs that she wanted to sing and if I remember correctly none of them were by pink but they made her do a pink song and you know she just went with it she didn't think too much about it but um you know they told her to dress like her and just be like you're a pink impersonator and you know and she was just like oh okay I, I guess I'll go with it and then you like go on to the stage she goes right and so when she goes you know of course she sings but she, um they tell the judges tell her to stop and they're like, you know, you can do another song. And they start, they not only start playing a pink song in like the wrong key, but they turned off her ear monitor. And so she couldn't hear herself. And that's when reality finally hit her. It was basically like they turned her into a laughing stock. 
and it got to her and it was a full-blown mental breakdown. You know, she wasn't throwing a tantrum about it. She was, she was pissed. And honestly, I can't blame her. Like, what type of fucking insane as people try to crush your dreams by bringing you onto the show, make you do something that you probably don't want to do, and turn you into a motherfucking laughing stock. The X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, America's Got Talent, maybe The Voice, I don't know. I've heard that that show's fake, but I don't know. Honestly, I... I'll only know if, if it's fake if, like, someone like Nolly Martinez comes out and says that it's scripted, but I don't think it is, honestly. Uh, but every other show, like, you know, run by Sam McCall, American Idol, uh, all the Got Talent shows that are run by Cowell or X Factor, all of that, it's, it's all fake! It's all just a fucking setup! And another reason why I say that is because of the mistreatment of certain stars. And uh, the main two that I want to get in is um, One Direction and Little Mix. I don't listen to One Direction, but Simon Cowell mistreated both of those groups, and it's just heartbreaking. Like, he wouldn't... He would only promote certain artists that he found good, wanted them to stay bubblegum pop, and even went as far as to bullying them. Like, <laughs> he caused Zane to have an eating disorder. You know, he allowed so much hatred to come out, and he would even bully him for it, from what I understand, to the point he had an eating disorder. And then, same thing with Little Mix, except he didn't just... Uh, bully them. Oh, oh no. He wouldn't promote them. He tried to get them to say bubblegum pop, which, uh, no, I like, I like their music now. Um, I like, I like some of their music then, but their music now is better. And, you know, what was happening with Jesse, what was happening, uh, with Leanne, what was happening with Perry, what was happening with Jade. They were going through so much, like, uh, Jessie, she kept on getting bullied for her like, looks. She kept on getting called a fat whale. And, you know, he didn't care. Uh, Perry has an anxiety disorder. And it hurts her to, like, you know, it's just heartbreaking to watch. And he didn't give a flying fuck about that. Leanne, being the darkest member, she has to deal with fucking racism. And, you know... She has to deal with, like, being called slurs. He doesn't care about that. And Jade, man, Jade had anorexia. I don't know if it was, like, sometime before they went to the X Factor when Jade had anorexia or if it was sometime, um, you know, like, ooh, light. <laughs> if it was sometime, uh, while they were beginning as Little Mix. But he didn't care. He did nothing about it. And he would bully them, like, himself. And even more of the stars, I can't remember the name to for the life of me. You know, some of them would be, like, sexually assaulted. And, you know, they would, they would, like, tell him. And he would literally force them to keep their mouth shut. Like, send an, sign an NDA and not talk about it. You know, all of that. All of that. And, and, ugh. What the fuck? It's, I, I'm getting worked up and I'm, I'm going blank on some things. Um, but, I, there's a reason why his company is called Psycho to begin with. Because he's a fucking psycho! And everyone who has worked there, who has produced artists time and time again, are psychos! And I... Uh, no! Just fuck off! Please! 
and change. Like, fucking hell. I I literally just had a voice crack because I'm getting worked up over the fact about it. Now, there is one show that I particularly want to go on, and I even uh, have a couple of friends that I became with sometime, became friends with sometime after uh, their episodes aired, and it's, from what I understand from both of them, it's, it's not fake, uh, almost everything about it is 100% real, and that's I Can See Your Voice. Uh, there is a certain age limit, though, and I don't, I'm not in that age limit just yet. I have to wait a couple more years. But I do want to go on that show. It's kind of like a show where this one contestant, you know, he, she, they have to guess, um, you know, who who is a good singer, who is a bad singer. They have to eliminate all the bad singers or who they think is a bad singer to win like $10,000 each round. There's six rounds. And then they get to the last contestant who has to be a good singer in order for them to win. And from what I understand is that, you know, they only they know if you're a good singer or a bad singer. There's lip sync round. There's, uh, there's like, what is it called? Oh, yeah, we're the phone thing, the phone booth thing. Um, there's, there's, like, in this interrogation, and even though I don't think I would can be considered a good singer, I would really like to go on that show, and if it doesn't take a complete nosedive like the mass Singer did, I would really love to be one of the contestants, maybe, like, Ghost Girl or something, because <laughs> if y'all were to see me, y'all would think I'm a, I'm a ghost, only Prodigious knows what I look like, and he's my darling, and I will... I will not shut up about it for as long as I live, okay? If y'all get annoyed by it, fuck off. Fight me, because he's an angel. Okay? He's an angel. But yeah, uh, in case anyone is wondering about that or, like, uh, wants to comment that, this is your answer as to why I don't want to go on contestant shows. Um, Except for I can see your voice and maybe the voice, I don't know. Uh, It really depends. I don't think I'll ever go on there. I want to work up to it. Of course, on I Can See Your Voice, you don't get big and famous uh, from it. Seeing my friends, uh, Courtney, um, well, she's starting to blow up. She's starting to blow up. And so is Heather. And so is, and even Eric is, even though he's a comedian and wasn't a good singer, he was really funny. And yeah, I just hope that clears everything up, like, in case anyone's just wondering. The reasons being of pretty privilege, my voice not being good enough, uh, I won't be able to sing my own songs, and most of it is just a fucking setup. And I hope this clears the air and this doesn't, like, trigger anyone. And, you know, what you can do if you want to, like, uh, support the channel, support my channel. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can, like, subscribe, comment. I don't, I don't care. I want to work hard for it. But, you know, also support the victims that were abused by Simon Cowell or ab- abused from those types of shows and were broken because of it. Like, you know, Zoe Alexander, a little mix, uh, Jairus? I think that's what one of those groups was called. Uh, I think I already said little mix, and, and I think Fifth Harmony, too. And, uh, who else, who else? Uh, the members of One Direction, just support them. Uh, if you want to, y'all can support me, y'all don't have to. Uh, don't. Don't watch those shows, because they are fake as hell. They suck. Uh, except for, like... I, I keep on saying this, because I don't know if the show is fake or not. Like, I can see your voice, or... Uh, well, I definitely know I can see your voice, if not fake. Or the... I'm not sure about the voice, though. Y'all can watch those shows, but... Anything that's, like, you know... <laughs> fucking... Why? Why does it keep doing that? I don't know. 
you know, shows like um, American Idol, X Factor, you, you know, or, or the Got Talent type shows. Don't watch them. Don't watch them because they're fake and they're, they're nothing but a fluke. And don't expect me to go on there anytime soon because I won't. And something else I can do for me is support my darling Prodigious or Spider Star. You know, he's a really cool person. He's honestly the sweetest guy I've ever met in my life. I'm lucky to have him. Just support him and help get his channel boosted. He's like, he goes, he has another channel, but he goes by Prodigious AT. Um, and he, he's so cute on there. And if you like superheroes or video games, anything like that, y'all can uh, check his channel out because he has all of that. Okay, that's all I have for today. Hopefully I'll do, I'll be able to do another video, another cover tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I want to start uploading daily. I don't know how that will work. I probably won't be able to, but I will see you all next time.